Welcome everybody. In today's video, we are starting with the home repairs in the kitchen. We are caulking, painting ceilings and walls, moving the fridge to clean under and around it, cleaning and painting in the pantry, and also changing out the fluorescent light bulbs with some LED light bulbs. So sit back and enjoy this painting, caulking, cleaning, and the next part will be organizing and uh, deeper cleaning, polishing the wood floor and everything. So I hope everybody enjoys this and I will be popping in here and there to give you a little update on what is going on. You just saw me caulking around the plate rail and that is right above the cabinets and now I am moving out the fridge from its little corner so that way I can get back in there and do some caulking and clean the floor and get it ready to go ahead and paint the walls as well. Now that I've caulked everything, I'm going to go ahead and start with the ceiling paint and I am using the remaining ceiling paint that I had from when I did the TV room and the back entryway. I actually ended up running out of ceiling paint in the kitchen, so I had to go back another weekend and get another can of paint. And unfortunately, the can that I am currently using is no longer being manufactured or produced by Sharon Williams. It might be supply chain issues, but yeah, they when I talked to them, they did not have any in stock and they hadn't actually received any in the past couple months. So I had to have another option when I went to paint the pantry and do a second coat on the kitchen ceiling, which I'm okay with because it doesn't have to match the other rooms, but we are gonna go ahead and use the rest of it to at least get one coat on there and once I get around to about where the, on the other side of the light where I have the vent, that's where pretty much I was like, basically had no paint in the little paint thing anymore. And I also ran out of wall paint once I started painting the kitchen as well. And the paint that was currently on the walls was a satin or a semi-gloss. So I needed to do an extra coat just to be able to cover over. So you'll see me come back and repaint the kitchen walls and ceiling at a later time in this video. And But I'm letting you see kind of how I went about this madness of painting because when you have a fridge in the way, it's you kind of, I didn't want to disconnect the water. I didn't want to do any of that. I wanted to keep the fridge running because, you know, it was a full fridge of food and stuff in the freezer so but this is just the way that I went around and did everything and yeah that's that's what we're at right now
think I'm going crazy. Oh, I just and because I had the fridge pulled out, I wanted to go ahead and paint behind the fridge so that way the wall could be dry by the time I got over to the other side of the kitchen and I would be able to push the refrigerator back in there and just get it out of the middle of the floor. And here I am going to go ahead and use the Wyman floor cleaner and wood polisher. And I didn't get the polishing part because the camera just kept dying on me. But I'm right now cleaning the floor with the polisher and then I will not polisher but cleaner and then I polished it and waited the time frame but here I when I went to clean the back of the fridge I noticed that the little vents down at the bottom were so dusty that I went ahead and used my Swiffer to dust them and that was the dust that was off of them my fridge I don't see any visible coils on the back or on the underside so I just basically clean the little vent things and here I am putting this little block behind the fridge because you see the water spigot right there sticks out and before I didn't have that block in there and I had to be very careful that I didn't push the fridge too far back and hit that water spigot so now that block keeps the fridge pulled out enough to where it's not hitting that water spigot and um, that's just precautionary type stuff eventually I may want to have that water spout recessed into the wall but you know that's a cost that right now I don't want to worry about and now I'm re removing some caulking that was coming off around the window and then I will be re-caulking as well not replacing the light fixture in the kitchen I just went ahead and replaced the bulbs it is a fluorescent light fixture but I replaced it with these bulbs that convert it they're LED, LED bulbs and they are actually really bright so they're 65 Kelvin I think is the light scale that they're on um, but they work out fantastically in the the light fixture now so now we're moving on to the pantry it is a, another weekend or actually this is right before Christmas but we are I'm on vacation when I'm doing this part of it but we're cleaning out the pantry and we have paint new paint so I will be painting in the pantry and repainting the walls and ceiling in the kitchen
to speak. Okay, the pantry is now cleaned out. I will need to come back at some point and clean parts of the wall off that were by the trash can and had spots and some other spots. But here is everything that was in my pantry. Most of it fit on the kitchen table, but you see the trash can and my little recycling bin Instapot, those were there. And then I also had the candy and all the stuff over there was from the pantry. And here's the paint I'm using now. That super paint is going to be the ceiling paint and this emerald is the same that I would used in the other rooms. It's in the color shell white, which is just a, a very pale, pale, pale beige. So it's, it looks white, but when you put it right up next to white, it's not, you can tell it's not white. It's just a very, very pale beige. And I am reusing the same roller brushes that I used previously. I just stored those in a Ziploc bag for a couple weeks until I got around to painting again. And we're in the pantry painting the ceiling now. And the brush that I started off with, it was still really dry, so it wasn't covering quite right. But after a few strokes, it started to do much better. And then once we finished doing the, the ceiling, pantry ceiling, we'll move out into the kitchen to do the ceiling in the kitchen to put a second coat on the ceiling in there. And then we, I think we'll come back into the pantry and start painting the walls in the pantry but we might start off in the kitchen. I can't remember, but we, we start painting the walls again. And the beige that is that I'm painting over in the pantry that beige is the color that is through most of the house except for the bedrooms so as you can tell in the previous video home repair video you really couldn't tell the difference between the two colors that I was putting on the wall but there is really a difference in the colors the other one was kind of yellowed a yellow beige and now we're going more towards the white realm and it actually having the shell white color actually makes it the house seem brighter and bigger so i'm happy about that and i am not worrying about the contact paper in the pantry because i am eventually either going to replace it or do something with that
we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. 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 And I thought, it's time I'm letting you go. This time I know it for sure. I just thought I should let you know. Patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, no, no, no. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down. Sleep with the doors unlocked. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. Headache and sore throat. Can't see, can't tell if you can tell, but on the door frame. You can see a little bit of yellow poking through. That was the color of the pantry before we painted it the previous beige color. And then here's an after shot of the pantry completely painted. The paint is still wet. And between the shelves, I could not use the roller because it just wouldn't fit. And so I had to use my brush for that entire part. But the top part and below the shelves, I was able to use my roller to do the bigger parts of it. And now we're moving back to doing a second coat of paint on the kitchen walls. 
and it honestly looks really good. I do need to do some cleanup around like the pantry door. You see where I've, I have some dried paint on the, on the door frame bait pretty much. So I will need to go back with something, a little scraper tool or something like that to get it off. But that's, you know, another project at another day. But for now, we're just going to continue on painting. This will be the, pretty much the end of the video. I will continue painting and in part two, which will be at some point later on in January, we will be doing the pantry organization and cabinet organization and a little bit of the floor polishing and some deeper cleaning. So look forward to that video coming here soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you are notified every single time I post video. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday and I will check back with you guys next time. Thank you everybody.